pop-up showers this afternoon, Shane. Sounds like a very summer-like forecast. Well, that's going to be a phrase we say a lot over the next several days. Pop-up showers and storms. The heat and humidity going to come together, create those. Right now, we'll take a look at what's going on down in Norton, Virginia. We had a few showers down earlier near Norton, but right now, just a mix of sun and clouds. As we go to Pinpoint Doppler, though, you can see those showers have migrated over into portions of eastern Kentucky, Pike County, uh, right on the Perry Letcher line up in the southern Knott County, also southern Leslie County, seeing a few showers. And on the Knox Bell County line, a little isolated storm is going between Barberville and Pineville, so watch out if you're going to be traveling along 25 here in the next little bit. Temperature is generally into the 80s, and if you are pretty much south of the Howe Rogers Parkway or Highway 80, you're going to be seeing those showers. North of there, it should be a pretty dry night overall. Very strong area of high pressure in control of our weather right now. Although one or two of those storms are popping up, even though we do have that high pressure around. Big storm system over the plains and also an area of low pressure off the coast of Florida. Now this is one that we're going to have to keep a close eye on over the next couple of days. That could turn into our first tropical storm of the season and may impact the Carolinas a little later in the week. We'll take a look at that in a second. Tonight, a warm evening, most of us sunny with a few clouds, except for those pop-up showers near the Virginia border, patchy fog tomorrow morning, and then it's uh, pretty much a copy and paste forecast for tomorrow. You'll see a few of those isolated storms pop up in the afternoon, but you also see that area of low pressure organizing down in the Atlantic. That could turn into tropical storm Anna as we go into Thursday. Also notice here in eastern Kentucky, more of those afternoon storms. And then as we go to Friday, it looks like what could become Anna may make landfall in South Carolina, somewhere between Charleston and Myrtle Beach. That's something we'll keep a close eye on. In the meantime, though, should be mainly dry, except for those hit or miss showers. And trying to pinpoint them exactly is going to be pretty hard. The best chance will be down in the higher elevations uh, near the Virginia border again tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday looking mainly dry and warm. A little better chance of some more widespread rain as we go in the next week, guys, as that storm system out west finally moves east. All right, Shane, thank you very much.